Cause the way these bitches have done me in the past. Mike, it's story time. <gasps> push-up bra and it's pushing up straight flesh banks hella gonna tell me i ain't got no motherfucking money well bitch how about we open up your funky ass account the boy that's texting me about this anime is also the same boy that sent me a picture of his knee too much not too much you get uh, 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 that ass to him i don't have no money in that account because that's not the account with the money in it so 2023 i prayed i prayed i prayed i said baby i need some female friends i need some good female friends lord because the way these bitches have done me in the past like the story time See, I'm not even the type of bitch do no story time on no hoe because I don't even talk like that because at the end of the day, I was your friend. So don't be calling people funky and two-faced when you was their friend. Like, you can't be like that. But at the end of the day, hoes will do you dirtier than how they niggas did them and they cheated on them three times and then they go back. They do it dirtier than that. Between school, work, social media, TikTok, editing, YouTube videos, da 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 A lot of the stuff I have time to do is on the weekends. And I will text my home where everybody know, everybody know my work schedule. My work schedule ain't never changed a goddamn day in its life. I feel like people have this illusion because I post on Instagram, that means I'm free. Baby, that is a job. That is a J-O-B. That is a check that's never cleared because I ain't never been paid. No Tino shade. We manifested it for 2024. And I feel like with my friends, especially my newer ones, I've always been very transparent with them and let them know like, hey, I am a great friend. Sometimes you won't see me for like a week. Sometimes you won't see me for a week. I can still enjoy life and still be stressed. I just feel as if someone has this impression of me that was false. Now, let me tell y'all conspiracy theory before we talk to you. I know I'm being vague. I know I'm being vague, but hold me down. Back in the day when I used to beef with people, I used to be like, all right, fuck you, da 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 da. But I said I wasn't gonna do that no more. If it's something that can be talked out and it's nothing serious, talk it out with that Talk that shit out. If you could talk it out with that funky ass nigga, you could talk it out with her too. So when she confronted me, not really confronted me, I confronted her about how she was feeling. My first reaction, like, I was immediately triggered. But I breathed. I exercised what I learned in therapy for like, how long have I been in therapy? I don't know. I was like, okay, let's assess your feelings. Let's talk about it. How did you get to this conclusion? What can I do to help? You know, I've apologized. Mind you, what I did wasn't even that serious, but we will not neglect anybody else's feelings. We will not water her down either. If she feels like this way, then she can feel like that way. Take that all the way. Do not water down nobody's feelings. If they feel as if you hurt them because you took the first straw out of the pal, hear it out. I ain't say apologize, but hear it out. But in my case, I'm gonna apologize because it's okay. It's not even on no pushover type stuff. It's like, if you're my homegirl and I see that you genuinely feel some type of way about something I didn't even mean to do, I'm going to just apologize. Like, I'm not even gonna drag it out or make you feel crazy. Like, I'm not even gonna do that. You feel some type of way and I apologize. And I said, what else can I do moving forward? Now see, after that, when you be dragging it off this little shit, baby, I'm not your mans. I'm not your mans, I'm not your mans. So I apologize and she's just like, well, I don't know what you want me to do. Okay, let me know where our friendship is. Let me know how you feel. Cause at the end of the day, your feelings matter and I'm never gonna rush you. Period. Cause I ate with that response. I'm still being here. I'm still being welcoming. You know, I'm not ignoring you, da da da. Her response to that was, okay, will do. I don't think she wants to be friends and that's okay. Now, let me tell you a conspiracy theory between me and my other group of friends. They think she had a crush on me Huh? And she wanted to be my man, my man, my man. I'm my man, my man, my man, because I would definitely be the boy in the relationship. That's just how that friendship dynamic worked. Like, I was just the end I think that she had a crush on me, so when I wasn't being her man, like, she got frustrated and felt some type of way. But I feel that that's so not fair. That's not fair to me, at least, because I didn't know I was your man. How was I supposed to know I was your man? You should have told me. And then I could have redirected those feelings to a friendship. Have you ever loved someone? <laughs> like the whole situation to lose a friend over something like that is really dumb but at the end of the day you can have a pressure nobody be with you i know that she was bisexual but i ain't mean i ain't know that meant me baby like you know what i'm talking about like you know how some people be like oh yeah i like dark skins and then you stare in dark skin like baby that don't mean that you like me i just thought you like i just thought you like i just thought you liked Maybe I need to create better, better boundaries. Y'all, we gotta get dressed, cause it's six o'clock, the thing started seven, it's a 20 minute ride. Somebody about to come out of my house. I know I hate people in my house. I'm thinking of dressing up like a slutty schoolgirl. Like, let's try that look. Uh, I'm test running this native, um, all natural deodorant. My bad, I had to smell check, just in case. I'm used to wearing men's deodorant, cause I like my shit extra strong. I like to smell like a little young man. Is that why that bitch fell in love with me? Too much, not too much. Okay, y'all, we have to go. I know this hat looks funny on my head, but that's the whole point. Like, it's supposed to lean to the side. Like, it's supposed to give, like, lazy, cool, LL, cool J. I can give motherfucking couture. 
Cause it, it might not look good from the front. It might not look that good from the back. The bitch from the side. Ass and titties. Yes, this is a push up bra and it's pushing up straight flesh. Demons. If it has to, I don't care. Push up what you need to. I need some titties tonight. This is the pack I be using. These impress no blue lashes. Because. What if a hoochie baby is that me now? Real Are you for real? Uh, Miss A done talked to all the boys on the team. <laughs> I just like, I just like, I just like. <laughs> Me and Cheyenne get some food after this. Cause y'all got Buffalo Wild Wings without us. Yeah, he hit that shit twice. He, she, they hit the front. <gasps> it's cracked a little bit, yeah. Nice, and don't give a damn. You are a lion. A lion. A lion. <laughs> Her accent a little. You are a thing. lion. <laughs> Wait. That's hard. You like my look? Say what? Sit down. I got a camera. I'm so weak. This is what we'll be sipping on tonight. Um, pure Hennessy from France. I think it's France. 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 Congo, France. It's not rare. It is rare. It's not rare. Let's look at the dog. 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 Let's we lived in the same goddamn oh. apartment. I heard that y'all would die. <laughs> Is that how you moan? I'm not gonna moan in front of y'all. <laughs> so He'd be oh. like, give me my money. Oh. Give me my money. Yeah. I got the hiccups. I have a headache. I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. I was telling y'all story. Simple words. He just wasn't chasing me the way I needed to be chased. I put my hand up. I said, "Hey," <laughs> and he said, "You get uh, 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 that ass to him." Oh, chin check me like he Natalie Nunn or some bullshit. It's seven in the morning and I still have a headache from last night. I'm gonna be late to work. I will be there at oh, marvelous. I'll be one minute late. Thirty-three minute drive. <laughs> I was gonna put on one of my heavier perfumes, but I don't think with me being in a headache, I should be spraying all that. So I'm just gonna do Bath and Body Works in the stars in your mama's closet if you are wondering what it smells like. Hey, hey, I know your mama like Bath and Body Works. No one can stop me from having a good day except for myself. Period! <sighs> I 
feel like I'm not doing enough, I just look at my schedule and I'm like, that's not what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to play gospel. It's okay. Let's continue. I feel as if it's so easy to get overwhelmed with the things you prayed for, right? Because I feel like that's what's happening to me at this moment. So I'm just assuming it's happening to you as well because we're the same person. Come on, catch up. Overwhelmed and stressed, like just how I was this morning over things I prayed for. That J-O-B that I work, I prayed for that thing. And now, and now it's time to go to work. And I'm over here 15 minutes late. 15 minutes late listen, listening to trap music. I ain't no gangster. I ain't never been no gangster. You see what I'm trying to say? And then this whole school thing. I gotta go to school. My head rocking just at the thoughts of it. I pray that I would get into a school that'll pay me to show up. Bitch, you see me. Sorry about that road rage. But I feel like it's so easy to pray for things and then struggle to maintain them. I pray that somebody would listen to me talk on this funky ass YouTube. I was like, oh my God, someone needs to listen to me. Like, I hope they listen to me. Damn, I gotta edit a video. Damn, I gotta do this. That's gonna be my stop crying message for myself for the day. Like, however hard you think you working, somebody out there working double. Somebody out there working triple. You stressed because you gotta go to school and work and make some little YouTube videos. There's people with kids out here. I one that two multiple. Paying rent. You talking about you stressed. You ain't getting no sleep. Girl, nobody fucking cares. On oh, everything I gave, everything you got nothing back. Ain't looking for no pet on back. That ain't how we got. What the fuck we at? That's why I don't fuck with niggas now. Well, I fuck with all my niggas. You know the difference. You been living with tunnel vision. You and all your friends look like Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman working for him. I don't know why he keep blessing me. I don't know why he keep blessing me. I don't know why he keep blessing me. I know why, now I know why. So I can bless you. Lord help me cause I need you I got all my needs and pray You know problems go away And I ain't get no sleep last night Oh I tried and tried and tried Everybody telling me I lie I'm tired of fucking all these girls so Why you carry on them by yourself We just pulled up to the job, but whoever drive that white that white Chevy outside my job, scoot the fuck up! Like, can't nobody park behind you? You think you so fucking special in that 2010? Bitch, I, uh, uh, all this fucking space, you taking up three spots. If you ain't want nobody park to you, your shit hit from the back, bro. You don't want nobody park behind you. Like, you being real ridiculous, don't- What the fuck, y'all? God! So, sorry, so, sorry. so me and Mr. Chris are gonna watch the kids on Friday and I don't wanna go alone. See? They think this like, it's like, what do you need? She was like, oh. She was my best friend first and then I started messing with this cheerleader. Oh, I just got out of the bank. And I told y'all this morning, I was having some problems with Navy Federal. So I was gonna pull up on that ass. So I pulled up on that ass. Yeah, I'm outside Navy Federal right now. I go in, I'm cool, chill, chill, chilling. I said, hey, stink. I saw that y'all charged me twice for a $30 charge as a transfer fee. What that got to do with me? Like, what you talk about trust Like, that don't even make no sense. Because I know how much money I be putting in that account, and it be just enough. Just enough, nigga. Just enough. Sorry for cussing. He talk about, oh, it was an overdraft fee. I said, no, that's not correct. It would have said overdraft fee. What it says is a draft fee from my savings, which means that you charged me $20 to pull from my savings. That doesn't make sense. And he was like, oh, well, if you ain't had the money in there, no way it wasn't going to charge. So how was the payments getting clear? Because the card people got their motherfucking money and I ain't changed shit in that goddamn account. So how the fuck you gonna tell me ain't no money in that account when that bitch clears the fuck out every single month? You're a lying rat bastard. Yeah, that's what he say. I was like, okay, since you wanna be so motherfucking funny, don't even worry about that account. Close it. Do whatever you gotta do. Keep that little funky ass $14 that's in that account because yeah, I know how much is in there because I don't want y'all charging my ass for some bullshit. Y'all talking about I ain't got no money in that account? Don't have no money in that account because that's not the account with the money in it. Why would I put all the money in the account? If that's not that account, this was out of money. It's an extra account. 
okay it's supposed to use for one bill but since you want to be so fucking funny you want to be a funky ass comedian i'm gonna be even more funnier roger because i hate when black people do that to each other because bitch i ain't even say nothing like that to you i ain't even say nothing like that to you i came in with cool calm collect the energy i won't scream i won't yell it i was just like hey i saw my account got charged for 30 dollars you talk about you ain't got the money in there no way let's go man for man to see where we at had these people looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. No, because why would I have? I just, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like when people try to call me broke. Don't try to call me broke. Don't try to call me broke. I play broke. I be broke. I act broke. But that don't mean I'm motherfucking broke. Banks hella gonna tell me I ain't got no motherfucking money. Well, bitch, how about we open up your funky ass account? How about we open up your funky ass account? Let's dissect that motherfucker. Talk about oh you ain't got overdraft protection. Why the fuck would I need overdraft protection when the money's in there? Oh my god, this is a first day back to school video. I'm yelling about the bank people. I'm sorry, y'all. My class starts at 6 o'clock. Yes, 6 p.m. But it's supposed to snow at 5 o'clock. I don't know who else to ask. Can I ask for a favor? No. No the fuck you can't. Can't nobody ask me for no favor. Don't ask me for no favor. Ask your mama. Ask your baby daddy. Ask your auntie. Ask grandma. Ask TT. Don't ask me for no favor. Because baby, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. I ain't never gonna have it. Oh my gosh, by the looks of it, I'm going to class today. I don't want to go to class. We don't have no oodles and noodles. We don't got no ramen, no nothing. But we got lettuce, salads, grapes, fruits. Just buy them big ass packs. I ain't think there was a bottom to the packs that you buy the big ones. I ain't think that had an end. I don't feel good. I'm about to go ahead and send that text to the job. I ain't never called out a word. I ain't never called out a word. Let me say it again. I ain't never called out a word. I can't make it. I went to the basketball game. I don't sleep Monday through Friday. Your enemies want to see you fail, right? So every time I be like, damn, I'm tired. I don't want to edit. Damn, I'm tired. I don't want to sell no off it. Damn, I'm tired. I don't want to do no homework. I just think, how would my enemies feel seeing me succeed? And all of a sudden, I got all the energy in the world. When you can put your foot on these people's necks, you know you just feel better. And um, that's the way I've been living my life. And look at me. Sick. So, so I'm going to make myself a sandwich. I'm going to add extra mayonnaise. I just started a new anime called Hell's Paradise. No association with religion because I don't want y'all to think I'm being weird. I posted, I said, anybody seen this anime, I wanted to talk about it. So one of them boys swiped up, but the boy that swiped up, T. The boy that's texting me about this anime is also the same boy that sent me a picture of his knee. So yeah, very confusing. We can keep it on anime, we good. If you start reminiscing, then I'm out. I'm out. What you need from a bad boy like me? Make sure that your daddy is known. Make sure that your mommy is known. Switch off that television. I came here for. I know you got me now. I know you got me now. I know you got me. I followed you up and down. Followed you up and down. Now I don't lost my mind. Now I don't lost my mind. Now I don't lost my. The doctor said I burnt my liver. I've been drinking, smoking, cedar. Oh my god, it's a car that wants to go fast and he's behind me. Come on, turbo. Go, go, go. It's 1130. I got one, two, three, four, ten, ten things to do on my to-do list. I woke up at eight o'clock. I don't know why I just didn't get up. The alarms, the alarms go off, but you feel me? I don't go off. First thing I'm gonna do before I leave this house is pay my bills. The delusions will really catch up on your ass if I go out in this world. Yeah. Amen to the weekends, because that's the only time I can turn up. That's why I'm so excited for the motherfucking summer. I don't have to work in the summer. Yes, it's currently 1.30. I woke up at 8 o'clock, fell back asleep, woke up at 10 o'clock, fell back asleep, and then get up until 12 o'clock. Yes, it's true. I'm lazy like that. I had to record my outfit of the day. I'm not trying, just can't stop and can't go. I'm not trying to, I just wanna know. I can't move too hard. 
Cause these stiff ass braids, y'all be taking these braids out to annoy. I had to post on Instagram and TikTok and do a YouTube promo before I left. La 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 la. Oh my God, who commented? Who commented? I'm like, he 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 All of a sudden, I'm over here blushing for 10 hours just cause somebody said cool vid. My goddamn GoPro acting like a <laughs> They don't wanna work. I said, wait a goddamn minute. This thing costs a little too much not to be working. Apparently, I've been charging it wrong. I charged the battery pack, which charges the battery. So it's like a battery pack that you put on in the battery pack, but I have to charge the camera directly. My bad. The instructions were unclear. That's my fault. You gotta go get some food. I underestimated how hungry I'd be. We in. No killing. Some chicken. Noodle type vibe. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Last time I got cold noodles. <laughs> It's nasty. I please have the vegetable noodle soup. Someone thought I was stormy. Shout out to Storm She locked in on the food reviews. I do the same thing every time. I try to order something new and it should be dookie, but I left a five dollar tip. Can't believe that food was dookie like that. We dookie. I be thinking since I like K-drama and anime that I would like like traditional Asian style cuisine. Mm -mm. Give me some lemon pepper all flats. Extra seasoning, crisp my shit up nice too. And give me some french fries and we good. That'll be the day. They actually want to taste the meat, the flavors, the texture. They want the meat to squish. I don't want that shit. I like dry. I want it dry. We trying y'all. I'm scared. It's cold. It's Dodge charges out here. You know what they say about them charges. I look like, y'all, I look like a lost dog in here. I'm not gonna lie. They got your shoes. Oh, they got the shoes I got on right now. Oh my God. I got those on my feet. That's funny. <gasps> they got these accessories. Wait a minute. I might have to come with me. They got this. All right. Oh. All right. Okay. Yeah. That's One sixty for one. Mm -hmm. Why well, three hundred for two? Okay. Yeah, I gotta talk that one over. <laughs> I gotta talk that one over. Yeah. But thank you. That funky ass flea market was a bus from the depths of hell, y'all. It wasn't nothing in there. One of the men was looking at me. I walked past him two times. I gave him two chances to say something. He say shit. And one thing about me, I'm never gonna press. Another. I ain't never gonna press. Actually, I used to press niggas. Actually, I did press niggas. Actually, I was pressing niggas. But I feel like I'm in a new era. I'm in a new era. I'm not stepping to no man. I'm not stepping to no man. What? I hear how crazy that sounds. I understand how people be like, well, I got mine. I got mine. I took him off the shelf. I ripped him out the plastic. I don't want to rip mine out the plastic. I don't want to do that right now. I'm at the thrift store and don't even want to go in. The food was nasty. The thrift store didn't have shit in it. I didn't, I didn't waste it by some gas. Yeah, in line. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, look at me dead in my eyes. I know that you know that a nigga in line. Too much respect. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they were buy. Whoa, she love me so much, it seems like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's cause they live at the high. Hey. Full S13, stepping on shit to the spot. He brought me the money sealed up. I still had to count it. I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the bank. Tell her to open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow. That's cause the neck is a frame. Her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the nines. Breaking and bending the spines. I hate a privileged rapper that they had a hit since the 
taking it down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Baby, you my everything. You all I ever want. You real big, bigger than you ever got. I want this forever. I swear I can spend whatever on. Hey y'all, we are in Wally World. We need to get some stuff for tomorrow. I'm gonna film like a spend the morning with me, but in order to gain weight and have a big fat ass, that's what I'm gonna start doing. So I'm about to get this protein powder that's in here. It's like $30. Oh, I gotta go in this candle aisle. Roll back. I need candles for company too and they all on rollback how can i mind me loving this we're gonna get banana nut bread oh we're gonna need that because i like that one last time i'm gonna get this one i just needed some candles to like put in my bathroom type vibe all i have is my good candles and you already know i don't play by my good candles them candles that i got left is from bath and body Works sale which means i'm not burning them yeah let me get the fuck what's this one Ooh. This one's chocolate though. This one's vanilla. I'm gonna just charge everything on my credit card and act like this never happened. I'm gonna try these brand eggs, the eggs, and then all of a sudden it was like eggs just make my stomach hurt really, really, really bad. One day I take a trip to Costa Rica, right? Just eating everything that they give me. Like I'm eating everything. My stomach's not hurting no more. Like I feel perfectly fine. I was like, okay, how about I try to eat eggs without all the extra preservatives and see if that changes something on my stomach? Even though them eggs is high, they four dollars compared to two. Okay, wait. I know that this vlog was a little bit more aggressive than my other vlogs. I apologize. You already know that one week before your period, I feel like I just be a little less patient than what I'm supposed to be. Yeah, if you're new here, I just want you to know I'm not always like this angry rah 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 person. I am very sweet. Like, look at this. I love stuff like this. I am nice gal. Okay. I'm sorry that it didn't have as many like um sound effects and like visual editing and stuff yeah i got tired of listening to myself like i still think it was a good vlog like i would definitely watch that if i saw it pop up on my timeline so you know if you made it to the end you was real cool like you real smooth i understand that maybe i was wrong at the bank but i feel like he could have said it different he could have said well we're we charge you a drafting fee to take money out of your savings instead of being like you ain't had the money in your account no way because the, literally the whole reason why i came in there was to add a lump sum of money like i usually do that i add like big lump sums into that account and then i just don't look at it i was mainly snapping off of his response instead of like the actuality of the facts instead of being like well you ain't had no money because now I'm going to hop in your ass. If there's any videos that you want to see, let me know. There was a part that I said that I was like, oh, however hard you think you work in. Um, some people have kids. I just want to let y'all know, I don't mean no disrespect to people with kids. I just feel as if when you have kids, like you're working extremely harder than the rest of civilization. That's not to water down nobody else's success. But, but I'm just trying to clarify, I don't mean no disrespect by nobody that has kids. Like that's not at all what that message was trying to say. I'm just saying that people that have kids are very hard working people and they have to be on their p's and q's 24 7 and i respect it 
I respect it. But if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. You feel me? I know you love it here because you made it to the end. Um, tell me about your day. Like, what did you do today? I know it's Sunday. Maybe I can do like a Sunday reset, but I'm not gonna lie, my Sundays be real chaotic. I'm gonna stop talking because I can keep going. Like, drag this video up to like an hour. It's fine. See y'all on the next one. Hopefully, y'all get an extra post. I know last week y'all got an extra post. Y'all know y'all got a hair video. So, I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to try cook y'all up another post. It depends on how the day goes. Talking again. Listen, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm call y'all back. I'm going to call y'all back. Listen, just watch the next video. Just wait for the next video to drop and I'll talk to y'all. Okay? Because I'm about to just ramble into the next one. I'm going to ramble into the next video. Okay? Go back. Go back. Go back.